Welcome to Praying Through the Bible, number 74, Judges 11, verses 29 through 40, a prayer that loses a child. Every parent's greatest fear is losing a child. Some lose them spiritually, which is the, the greatest heartache. Others lose them emotionally, where there's a distance that grows between them and their children. Some even lose them physically, leaving a hole forever in their lives. When losing a child, whether we parents are innocent or guilty, there is a gnawing agony or remorse and the haunting question of what if. Our doubt is searching for answers. So can a parent lose a child because they make foolish promises? Can a parent lose a child because of a promise made even to God? You might know where I'm going. Jephthah vowed, whatever comes out of the doors of my house to greet me when I return in peace from the Ammonites will belong to the Lord, and I will offer it as a burnt offering. Judges 11, verses 30 through 31. That's a Holman Christian Standard Bible. After being victorious, there his daughter coming out to meet him with tambourines and dancing. She was his only child. He had no other son or daughter besides her. Chapter 11, verse 34 of Judges. Seeing his child, he tears his clothes and says, no, not my daughter. You have devastated me. You have brought great misery on me. Chapter 11, verse 35. And ever since this has been written down, people have been asking, does Jephthah sacrifice his daughter? I can't fully answer all the questions concerning this passage. This vow looks confusing. And if I may say, just downright stupid. However, unlike today, animals back then often were bedded in houses at night. And these were not pets <laughs> that come bounding out of the front door, whether we have been gone five minutes or five hours or five days. These were their working animals. So did Jephthah expect the first whatever to be an animal? Then there is the ambiguity in the Hebrew. The word and in English, verse 1134, could be or. It could mean if a human, then it will be dedicated, or if an animal, it would be sacrifice. Chapter 11, verse 31. Honestly, I do not know. So did Jephthah maybe expect a servant to come out? Well, even that is disturbing. Considering the daughter mourns her virginity and not her death, and considering that people celebrated the daughters of Israel, commemorated her, chapter 11, verse 39 through 40, and that human sacrifices were forbidden, Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 10, many doubt that Jephthah burns her up in a sacrifice. But then again, foolish people do stupid things in the name of God. For our purposes, there are other concerns more burning than what happened in the end. First, we all need to look at the Father's words. You have devastated me. You have brought great misery on me. As a father, I want to scream, why are you blaming her? Man up and say, I have devastated myself. I have brought great misery on me and you. Parents, stop blaming your children for your mistakes. And second, do not make promises that have an impact on your children without considering your children. Jobs, hobbies, and friends are not more important than our children. Too many preachers focus on saving the world that they, they lose their families. And third, Jephthah promised something to God over which he had no control. I'm sure he thought to himself that he was being extremely holy by promising whatever. People, it is better to not vow than to make one and not fulfill it. If you do vow, be careful not to let your mouth lead you to sin. Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 6 and 7. If you're going to make a foolish vow... You need just to repent. 
So parents, don't lose your children because you make foolish promises, whether to God or to them. What is our prayer challenge? Pray we won't blame others for our mistakes, including our children. Pray that our promises will not be negatively impacting our families. And that we only promise what we can control. If we foolishly vow, repent, rather than keep what never should have been spoken. My name is Perry Hall. This has been Praying Through the Bible, number 74, Judges 11, verses 29 through 40, a prayer that loses a child. If this has been a blessing to you, please share, please like, feel free to make a comment and help me to become a better person of prayer myself. Thank you.